Dajah Hal. I, I wanted to share with all of you, I have been going to Taiwan now for some 20 years. And the observation I would like to make, for many of you here, you had parents, you had parents who struggled for full democracy in Taiwan, who, who struggled for social rights, for political rights, for human rights, for the rule of law. Yes. And I believe you should be very proud of the full democracy that you have in Taiwan. And what I wanted to share with you as chairman of the, of the uh, Foreign Affairs Committee are some of the observations that my colleague, Congresswoman Judy Chu, made in her remarks to you. And that is that over the last 20 years, those of us in the Taiwan caucus have tried to build a strong bipartisan relationship between Taiwan and the United States. But I, I wanted to just briefly introduce Stephanie Hu on my staff, who is with us tonight. And, and just mention that her parents, like many of your parents, went through that long struggle to see the realization of democracy, full democracy, in Taiwan. And many of you are justifiably proud of what has been achieved. And I will also say, uh, as Chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee, in the last four years, every year, I have led a large bipartisan delegation to Taiwan in order to express not only our support, but also, also, to deepen this relationship and learn more. So I've had the opportunity to take that bullet train, you know, to take it from Taipei to Kaohsiung, to visit the naval base, to see the amazing manufacturing of computers there that are shipped all over the world, including here to the United States, but also to hear, to hear the admirals and those in the Navy explain to us the necessity for cooperation. And one of the bills that I pushed through was the one that transferred four frigates to Taiwan, guided missile frigates, in order to meet our, our responsibilities under the Taiwan Relations Act. One of the things I wanted to do as chairman of the committee was to address this issue of the six assurances. And with the help of Judy Chu and others, we were able to take that legislation and take those words of President Ronald Reagan in those six assurances. And th that was a verbal statement. But we wanted to codify that into statute. We wanted to not only strengthen the Taiwan Relations Act by reasserting the act, but put the six assurances into law. And we were able to pass that legislation and do so. And so I would, I would just share with you that we have had a productive year. And as, um, as we've had our trips every year, and I've had that opportunity most recently to meet with President Tsai, uh, and not only meet with her in May in Taiwan and meet many of you, but certainly we sat down also with the, the President of the Legislative Yuan, uh, with uh, Admiral Fang. I went up to Suao Naval Base to see some of the important work occurring there. I will share with you that uh, the earthquake hit during the demonstration that we were having at that very moment. Uh, and there on the wall with the pointer, our, our uh, friend, our military official from Taiwan didn't miss a beat as the room was moving back and forth. And those of us in California were watching and listening and we were looking for our colleague from Texas and then we found him underneath the table. <laughs> Californians and Taiwanese have always gone through earthquakes. We don't, we don't put down our pencils. We keep taking notes. We had to go under the table and take our friend, Mr. Flores, and put him back in his chair. But what, I, what I'm simply conveying is the heartfelt feelings that Americans have because they recognize in Taiwan this commitment 
to the same democratic principles as Judy Chu uh, shared with you. These same universal human rights that our goal is to see the world uphold because every, every man and woman, everyone in this, on this planet, our goal should be to see that their dignity yes. is recognized. And so uh, in, in conclusion, I'll just close by thanking you with invite, for inviting us tonight, but also committing that we will continue to work to deepen and strengthen the relationship between Taiwan and the United States of America. Thank you very much. Commissioner, it's good to see you, sir. <laughs> Chairman, I appreciate uh, you visiting us here. Yeah, I can. Bye. What's in it? It's empty. <laughs> I have just the tea here for it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.